This is Mr. Marr with Beat Theory on my Little Martian on the Beat YouTube page. Uh, today we're going to be going through step four and five for the Audio Sauna Sound Designer project. Um, up to this point, we've taken three different synthesizers and turned them into patches um, that uh, are kind of different from how they started. Uh, just using a couple elements of, of uh, analog synthesis and how that works. So today we're going to add drums and bass. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple things to make the drums a little bit more interesting on Audio Sauna. Um, and let's get started. So, get into the program. I like to close the ad personally. Um, if you can't, uh, there should be on the Chromebooks a about three dots over here in the corner or some kind of menu option here that you can bring up to adjust the zoom. Alright, so I'm going to open a version of my um, project where uh, I'm pretty caught up, where I at least have those first three steps done. So yours is going to be over on this side. You're going to look for your Google Drive. Um, your file will be in your Google Drive. And please make sure that you're saving your files as .song files. Um, you can see everything that I have. These are all the different versions of this project that I've made so far. Um, you need to make sure they end in .song or they're not going to open. Um, so I'm going to pick uh, Sound Designer Template 3B. Let's take a look. So I'm just going to do a quick check, make sure that I am actually as caught up as I think. So every track has uh, the piano roll notes edited. Red bars are only across from blue bars. And also, I can see that I did adjust the synthesizer parameters here. Um, the tags here at zero. Uh, decay is pretty short for my pluck sounds. Um, for the pad, I have my attack and release adjusted and I'm on an organ patch. And then for the third track, I picked a bell patch and the sustain is up to create a lead sound. Um, so let's start, let's just listen to one track at a time. Just gonna turn down the uh, my version. There's two audio going through, so I'm just gonna turn off my sounds for a second. Um, so I'm gonna unmute the next track and hear how that fits in, and then finally with the lead. is add some drums. So we're going to go to sampler 2 in track 4. So we've got three instruments and if you click the notes on the piano roll you're, you're going to hear what instrument is what. So we've got our closed hi-hat here. Um, usually that that'll play a sound and you know what the reason why it's not playing a sound is because it's muted. So I'm going to press this red M so I can hear things. So we've got that hi-hat sound, <coughs> snare drum, bass drum. So uh, I am not going to touch that snare drum track. It's just a straightforward 2 and 4 backbeat. We don't need to edit that. Um, while I'm working on this, um, I'm going to leave my other tracks playing so I can hear how everything fits together. So let's, uh, let's just listen to what it sounds like without any edits. So I want to make that hi-hat part a lot more interesting. So what I'm going to do is using the pencil tool, I'm going to fill in almost every note. Uh, nothing below that line. 
Um, right now I have the grid set to 16th. Um, you're gonna hear what that sounds like in a second. I'm leaving a couple gaps here and there, um, mostly before snare drums. You can see like that's where the snare drum is. That's right before it in the hi-hat track. I might move some things around, but I just wanna get this kind of set up. So let's hear how it sounds now. Cool. So I think that sounds a lot more interesting. Um, one thing we can do to create more of that modern trap hip hop sound is hi hat rolls. So hi hat rolls are essentially just when you're playing faster notes on the hi hat. Um, so we've got one thirty second, which is about half as fast as a sixteenth note. So you can see I can fit two in the space of one sixteenth note. Uh, I'm going to put some sixty fourth notes to make some really fast rolls. The 128, you can use that. Um, it uh, sounds a little, little, little bit less like an instrument. Sometimes it's kind of ridiculous, so it's not maybe the best option. I'm gonna throw another one in here real quick, and uh, maybe I'll do back to sixteenths, and then I'll end it with a little, a little roll. So let's hear uh, how that sounds now with the new drum part. I'm going to press the back button so I can go to the beginning. So that gives it a little bit more of that like modern hip hop feel. Um, so again, we're not touching the snare drum part we are gonna add some bass drum notes. Um, so a good way to kinda think about your bass drum is listen to it and then just hit your uh, bass drum part out on the table. And just kinda think about like what sounds good. So let's take a listen here. kind of like a busy bass drum part. I might not use all the notes I was thinking of. Um, definitely going to put a note here. Um, for the bass drum, we really just want to stick with 16th notes. Um, so mostly I'm just kind of adding notes like before and after bass drum or snare drum hits. Um, you can do more editing than that. You can be kind of creative here, but let's just hear how that sounds a little different now with those extra bass drum notes. Cool. So we've edited the piano roll. That's all we have to do here. There's no moving things up and down. Um, we're just adding to what's already there. So I want to make this sound a little bit more interesting. Um, so I just double clicked on sampler 2. This is how we're going to edit the synth. Uh, I'm going to go over here to distortion. Um, so distortion uh, makes the sound a little grittier. Uh, it's a little rougher. Um, you know, think like heavy metal electric guitar, but you're going to hear how it works for this. Um, I'm going to press S to solo this so we can hear just what the drums sound like. Might hear a little bit of an echo from my speakers, but just ignore that. So let's turn up this distortion. So you can turn that up as much as you want. You can make it really rough. I'm gonna have mine about, I, I really liked how it sounded about here. It's like heavy, but not too heavy. So we've got that. Um, what I'm going to add next is what uh, it's called an LFO. Uh, it, and it's imagine kind of like a it's a wave that's changing the sound, and it uh, you can change the shape of the wave that's moving. 
I'm going to keep it on uh, here, which is a triangle wave. Um, I'm going to press this button to turn on the LFO. And then I'm only going to mess with the pitch knob. So let's turn this on. Hear how it sounds. And you're going to hear how things change with the pitch knob. So like all the way up sounds kind of funny, but just a little bit. That sounds pretty nice. Um, so what that's kind of doing is uh, mimicking like um, on FL Studio, a lot of producers today, they, uh, they pitch their hi-hats. So they'll do hi-hats, but then they'll play them on different notes, kind of like how you'd play, uh, you know, uh, different notes on a keyboard. So adding that in kind of adds some, like, pitch variation, making the hi-hat going um, higher and lower. It's also affecting the bass and the kick, but um, I think uh, that works in this case. But that's why you don't want that all the way up. When the, when the bass drum is moving around too much, it starts to sound a little funny. <coughs> So we've got our drums. So let's uh, unsolo that and let's just hear how everything sounds together. <laughs> the drums just thought that sounded a little better um, then last what you need to do uh, as far as making our notes is the bass so this is another one uh, we know how to do this at this point um, whoops so what you're gonna do uh, click the selection tool and we're gonna move these notes down until they're across from blue lines um, let's, uh, you don't want to use too many notes with a bass line, um, or it's going to sound like just all over the place. So I'm picking like th four different notes at most. Um, I might actually just make it three. Cool. Yeah. So I just have three different notes. There we go. Um, so let's hear how that sounds. Uh, first, we need to make sure we're on a bass patch. So I am on a bass bass patch here. Um, so let's let's give it a listen. <laughs> That's working pretty well, I think. Um, so here's a couple things we can do to edit the bass. Um, try some different patches. Um, so bass two is already pretty low, um, but the other patches sound a little high, uh, and you could probably do it with bass two also. But what we're gonna do is transpose it down an octave to make it really, really low. Let's see how that sounds. So that's not going to work too well with base patch 2. I think base patch 2, if you're using that, just leave it as is. Um, but if you pick 1, 3, or 4, you might want to transpose it down. And it's actually going to stay transposed once I did that. So what I did is I set this to negative 12, which means it's the same exact note, just lower down on the keyboard, for example. 
This note is called C. Um, you can see these two black keys here. That's how you find C is the two black keys. This is the same note as C, an octave down. You can see the two black keys. Here it is, an octave lower than that. All right. So um, if you're using one, three, or four, or five, you're going to want to set that transpose to negative 12 so it's a nice low bass sound. <laughs> Um, you can also add a little bit of distortion to the bass. Um, so that, that's really all you got to do for the bass is uh, pick a bass patch. If you pick two, leave it as is. If not, make sure your transpose is at negative 12. And add maybe just a little bit of distortion just to give it a little bit of a rougher sound. Um, and that's where we're going to stop for today. So make sure you go File, Save to My Computer, and call this uh, the next version. Um, so I'm going to call this one 4. For B uh, in this case, but definitely for, and it needs to end with dot song. So that was steps four and five. Uh, there is not a stepper sheet currently for step five. We're going to try to see if the video tutorial system makes sense. Um, might take some notes, but that is my choice. So I believe that is it. Please let me know if you have any questions.